hello again YouTube and Facebook hope everybody's doing well and enjoying the day this is the day this is a great day just wanted to talk to you about a couple things and want to, want to talk to you about the wisdom of real estate the wisdom of the economics of real estate and the economy as I was pondering uh, about the economy, you know, a lot of people think you know, the economy is going strong right now, and there are others that think we are at you know the top of the market, and that we are reaching a bubble. The bubble's going to burst soon, but nobody really knows. I remember back in 2005-2006 time frame. I really saw that the market was shifting and appeared to be at the high but really did not know what to really do and how aggressive to be. I just knew, I knew that I needed to do something. Um, and so when I look at how it is now in 2020, January time frame, January 15 to be exact, and you look out and ask yourself, well, what should I be doing with real estate and, and maybe what should others be doing with real estate? Particularly when you think that we may be at the top of the market. How do you prepare? Well, one of the things that I feel led to do, having gone through the 2006, 2007, 2008, and the really downturn in 2008, 2009, I believe that we have to be careful. We have to be a bit cautious. We definitely have to buy right. But then on the other hand, I think we have to we have to take some steps to make sure that what we have, we can weather the storm. What do I mean by that? Well, one of the things that I think we have to do, and I call it the McCray 50-30 rule, and in that McCray 50-30 rule is that, and what I'm trying to do with my portfolio is to have a 50% equity position in your overall portfolio and also have a portfolio that can withstand a 30% hit or a 30% downturn in the income in which your real estate returns. In other words, how does that work? Well, if the, if the real estate market takes a hit at 50%, in some markets it did that in 2008, 2009. I mean, the mar there were properties in my uh, area that, that was selling at $500,000 and it dropped to about $250,000. Can you weather a hit like that in your portfolio that it drops in half? But more so important, if you had income coming in through rentals and it took a 30% hit, could you still make it today, 2020? And if the answer is you would really have some real challenges if your portfolio dropped by 50% or if your rental income dropped by 30%, then how do you take precautions? All right. Well, one of the things that uh, in the McCray 50-30 rule, I do some stress tests on my portfolio. What does that mean? All right. And so I look at, well, if I got a $100,000 portfolio, if it went down to 50000 would I be okay with the banks? Would I be okay um, in my personal life? Would I be okay? All right, you can add as many zeros to that number as you want to. And also, if my rental income was, let's just say, um, $1,000 a month, and it went down 30%, and now I'm at $700 a month, can I still 
Am I still in position to be able to take care of my responsibilities? Can I pay the bills? Can I pay the mortgages? Can I pay the expenses of the property? Can I hold on without losing the property? All right. And so those are kind of the stress tests that are performing on my property now because I, know, I believe sincerely within the next two to three years, uh, we are going to have a, a real downturn in the market. All right. And so I want to be prepared for that. And I want to be in position to take advantage, unlike I was not in position in 2008 to take advantage of that. All right. So I want to be in position to take advantage of that. And I want to not only be able to survive a downturn in the market, but I want to be in a position to take advantage of that. One of the other things I look at, you know, money is, I hear other investors and gurus say money is very cheap. Now it's easy to get a loan and all those kind of things. Um, but in a downturn market, that's not always true. As a matter of fact, those credit lines and credit cards that you have now, banks can call those things. They they can do away with those things, and uh, that 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 lick, that capital can dry up. That credit can dry up like overnight, particularly when a downturn in the market. And are you ready for that? Are you ready if they call a loan? Now, many of us as investors, uh, a lot of our loans, they mature in, in five years rather than the 20 or 30 years like some other loans, Fannie Mae and so forth. And so if you got, if you are caught in the middle, let's say you're at the four-year mark on a five-year note or a five-year balloon, it might be amortized over 20 or 30 years, but there's a balloon due in five years. And we have a downturn in the market in year four. Are you in position where when you go back to the bank, you know that the bank, and you have confidence that the bank is still going to refinance that loan? Well, I can tell you that, I can tell you this, uh, there were many people that lost their properties because of that same scenario. So we do want to be careful. We do want to do the things that we need to do to be in position to keep our properties. So think about that. And this is called the McRae 5030 rule, doing stress tests on your properties to make sure that you are in position to not only survive, but you can thrive. Thank you so much. Again, this is Dr. Leon McRae with The Lighthouse. God bless.